This video is sponsored by OWC. Is it time to ditch the AirPods Pro for something else? Like these new WF-1000 XM4s from Sony? Well, not so fast. If you want to skip around to different sections of this video, feel free to do so. They will be labeled. And I'm going to try to go over some of the questions that people might commonly have. So I'm going to try to make this video relatively quick. So let's try to answer these questions in rapid fire. Now, the biggest question you might have, which one of these sounds better? Out of the box, I'm going AirPods Pro. That's important though. I said out of the box. Overall, with some tweaks via the Sony headphones app, you can actually fine tune the EQ and get them to where your personal preference might be. For me, I like bass, but not a ton at all times. Now out of the box, like I said, the XM4s were not great because for me, they lean a little bass heavy. AirPods Pro have more of that natural sound profile that I much prefer. But the Sonys can get there very easily and can be even better with some adjustments and tweaks. And then it's just really subjective, but I do think the XM4s have a more robust sound to them. If you're someone who enjoys a lot of bass, then you'll definitely love these without having to do a lot of work to get it to that point. Now, which ones have better battery life? Well, according to Sony, the XM4s offer eight hours of playback with an additional 16 hours via the charging case. And the AirPods Pro offer around four and a half hours of playback. You might be able to stretch that to five, according to Apple, if you turn off transparency and ANC, but still have roughly the same 24 hour battery in total when you're using it with the case and charging it. So during testing, I really couldn't get a grip on the exact number of hours I could get with the Sony's before charging them, but they definitely lasted a little bit longer than the AirPods Pro. So how's the ANC, active noise cancellation? Which one is better? Well, Sony does claim to offer industry leading ANC, and I do think because of the difference in fit, the type of seal that they give you around your ear and the fact that they come with foam tips that are included in the box, the foam tips definitely help secure and create a much tighter seal. I do really think that ANC is just kind of good on both pairs of headphones. AirPods Pro have incredible active noise cancellation. So I really can't tell you which one is better because I think they're pretty even. It is worth noting that Apple is achieving pretty great active noise cancellation with a totally different fit and feel and the seal around the ear than the Sony's. At least it's different to me. But when it comes to transparency or ambient noise, I can give you a more definitive answer. I do think the AirPods have a better edge here. I was able to hear a little bit more of my surroundings and it just felt more natural compared to the XM4s. Okay, so let's move on to fit and design. Which is better? Well, I really couldn't care less about the design aspects of these headphones. We don't really need to dwell on that too much in my opinion, but I will say compared to last year's Sony WF-1000 XM3s, the case and overall size of the headphones is much smaller, and I'm really glad that Sony decided to reduce the footprint a bit. I like the look of both of these headphones. The case is roughly the same size. There's really nothing crazy going on here, but in terms of fit, well, that's where things kind of slightly differ. It's really hard for me to definitively say which is better because obviously we all have different ear shapes and sizes, but for me personally, I like the fit of the AirPods Pro more for longer periods of use. I just don't think the AirPods Pro hurt my ears as quickly as the Sony's, but it's kind of a catch 22 because once you get the XM4s inside of your ear, all nice and snug, the fit is great for moving around or going on a run or even mowing the lawn. It's really hard to hear a lot of the outside world. And there's absolutely no worries about them falling out, especially if you're being active. And that sound and ANC quality is really good. I just think that if I'm gonna be listening for more than a couple of hours, and because this fit is so snug, I'd probably choose the AirPods Pro because I won't have ear fatigue as quickly. All right, so what about call quality? I know there's a lot of people out there that use these types of headphones for making conference calls or phone calls in general. Well, here's a quick test. You tell me which one you like better in the comments down below. This is a test of the Sony WF-1000 XM4 mic quality. Uh, yeah, let me know which one you think is better. I'm gonna do the AirPods Pro next so you guys can get an idea of what they sound like. And this is a test of the AirPods Pro. Again, let me know in the comments down below which ones you think sounds better. Uh, I won't have my opinion until after I do this test. So if you really wanna know, you can ask me over on Twitter at Dan Barbera. 
And finally, let's talk about the extra features that each pair of headphones might offer. Um, this might not be a huge deal for some of you out there, but it's important to me. This is where the AirPods and AirPods Pro will always win for me. The H1 chip and all of its capabilities just trump everything else. Instant pairing and being paired across all devices at all times once you pair to your iPhone, you're automatically paired to your iPad, your Mac, etc. I love being able to switch from Mac to iPhone easily, although I have some frustration with that where you know I might be listening to music on my Mac and then I pick up my iPhone to look at it and automatically connects. That gets kind of annoying and hopefully that gets ironed out. But there's just a lot to like with AirPods and Apple devices together. Obviously, if you don't care about that aspect, well this, <laughs> I just threw them. Okay, well, if you don't care about that aspect, the Sonys are really just something that you will enjoy. The fact that you can use the app to adjust the EQ and change things on the fly like that is something that I wish Apple would allow us to do. But again, right out of the box, the air, the sound quality of the AirPods Pro is really good. I do like that within the app, you can change the level of ambient noise or transparency for AirPods Pro owners. You can change that level instead of just being stuck with what they give you. And for playback, and more specifically, you can add the ability to adjust the volume when using the gestures on your XM4s. Those are some things that you really can't do with AirPods unless you're asking Siri to do them for you. Overall, I really like the new XM4s that I just threw on the floor over here. I think you'll be pretty happy with these. I certainly am doing this during a short period of time. So over a long period of time, I don't really know how it's going to adjust and progress and how my thoughts are going to change. But as of right now, I think that you'll be happy with the XM4s, but I'd probably go with the AirPods Pro still if it was just for me personally. It's just, there's not a lot of huge difference between the major categories for me to wanna pick something over the H1 chip, and that's included with the AirPods Pro. It's also worth mentioning that the Sonys are a bit more expensive than the AirPods Pro right now. If you were to look on Amazon, you could get a pair of these for only $189 compared to $279 for those Sonys, but they are new. So that's the reason why they're still more expensive. Which ones would you choose? Let me know in those comments down below. And before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC has tons of products for your Mac, and earlier this year, they launched the incredible OWC Envoy Pro Electron SSD. This is OWC's fastest and toughest mini-sized USB-C bus power drive that the company offers, and it's super fast. The drive touts incredible real-world performance due to it being powered by OWC's Aura SSD, offering users super fast transfer speeds. It's incredibly small and can fit in your pocket easily, but it's also built like an absolute tank. Even though it boasts a lot of power, it's still really cool under the hood thanks to that aircraft grade aluminum housing that really helps dissipate the heat. And for more information about the new Envoy Pro Electron or anything else that OWC has to offer, click the link in the description down below. This has been Darren with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.